Now, the most important thing that now that you are on the road as a full-time RVer is that you want to stay on a road and keep those damn wheels on the ground. So the best way to ensure that is proper insurance products. I know it's not sexy, but if you don't have them, you're done, bud. Let's talk about it. Now, if you're a typical car driver, you know, like this Mazda behind me that I own, I only have a million liability, but I've got collision, comprehensive, fire theft, you know, all that crap. And same with my Mustang convertible over here. Got the same coverage. But when it comes to my RV, and especially when I'm in the US of A, I have more coverage. Now, with my Class C RV, I carry two million of liability comprehensive collision and most importantly underinsured motorist protection so that if somebody that doesn't have much insurance hits me I'm covered very important because the last thing I want to do is be stuck somewhere and have an insurance problem where my RV is not drivable and it's totaled that's gonna ruin my trip and it's gonna ruin yours too now I have met a lot of the uh, very popular YouTube celebutants over the years and for some reason when I talk insurance with them many of them carry minimum state liability which I think is absolutely crazy and even more of them don't even carry fire uh, theft comprehensive collision all that kind of stuff and I'm wondering why this is crazy because the odds of you having an accident away from town where you live and suddenly being homeless and having your entire RV written off and being undrivable is going to really affect you staying on the road. And it's going to end your YouTube channel. So without you know being specific in who I'm talking about or the people I'm talking about, it's something that I think needs to be discussed. And it's one of those things that uh, is an intangible. So, you know, it, you can't really wrap your brain around it. But when you have it and you need it, and it helps to protect you, you are really happy that you made that decision for it. And, uh... Oh, my phone's ringing. Okay, I'm back. Now another, essentially an insurance product is the uh, AAA RV coverage. Now this is BCA, this is the Canadian version, but it's the same, it's uh, available in the US. And I'm uh, just covering up my, uh, my numbers so nobody tries to bill me for something. But this, you know, you use it typically once a year. You got a flat tire. You usually have a leaky valve stem on one of your dualies or something. Guy comes and fixes it. Costs you nothing. Same with towing. Costs you nothing. <laughs> the, the, what you pay per year is usually less than your first service call. And it allows you to sleep better in your RV. And that's the whole idea about insurance. You sleep better. You don't worry. And uh, I'm even slightly overinsured with my RV, meaning that if it's totaled or burns down tonight, I'm going to get a few thousand dollars more than what it's actually worth. Because I'm paying the premium for that. Here in, uh, in many parts of Canada, you can declare the value of your RV and pay the premium on that. And that's the way it is. You can be slightly underinsured or overinsured, or I guess you could be completely not insured if you want to be completely crazy and uh, play that game. That's like going to the casino. I don't really like that. I like casinos, but I don't like the odds of uh, having breakdowns and losing my RV in a strange uh, town and trying to figure out how I'm going to ship all my uh, personal effects back at my expense. Not worth the hassle. I don't think it's worth the hassle for you either. Spend a lousy 100, 150 bucks a month and be properly insured. It's not a lot of money, folks. And you can have a better time not worrying about what's going to happen. That's just my two cents worth. What do you think about insurance and being properly insured? Keep your wheels in the ground. Make your comments below. Be good to each other. I will talk to you soon. Over and over.